This Google quiz question number three in parallel lines. What's the equation of a line perpendicular to negative 2y plus 8x minus 64 equals 0 and passing through the point 28? So now we need an equation of the whole line, including the a and the b. We're not just being asked for the slope. Uh, we we got to do both. And once again, I can't do anything with negative reciprocal slopes until I know what the slope is. So we're isolating y. Negative 2y plus 8x minus 64 is 0. Adding 64 to both sides leaves me with negative 2y plus 8x is equal to positive 64. Subtracting that 8x from both sides is leaving me with that. I subtracted 8x here and sub subtracted 8x here. Those two terms don't mix. Divide everything by negative 2. And you're left with y is equal to 4x minus 32. So there's our line that is perpendicular to the line that we're looking for. And that means the slope of this line is equal to 4. So to get the new line or the perpendicular line, well, we know that the slope of the perpendicular line is the negative reciprocal of this slope and we know it passes through the point 28. So let's get the perpendicular slope first. Perpendicular slope will be equal to the negative reciprocal. Flip it, you know, put it over one, flip it and change the sign. So that would be negative one fourth um, or negative 0 0.25. I like the formula. For those of you who like to use it, negative one divided by whatever your original slope was, four, which is equal to negative 0 0.25. And there's your decimal. And now, because we know that it passes through the point 28, 20 comma 8, we can get the equation of this, this new line. Um, y equals ax plus b. We know the a, and we have an x and a y. 8 equals negative 0 0.25. Make sure you use that new slope, the one that you calculated from the original, because it is the perpendicular line, times 20 plus b. 8 is equal to uh, negative 0 0.25 times 20 is equal to negative 5. Add 5 to both sides. 13 is your b. So y is equal to negative 0 0.25x plus 13. D is your answer.